three things I wish I knew before I reverted to Islam. By the way, I say revert because Muslims have an idea that everyone is born Muslim. Do not stress about putting on the job when you first revert. I remember being so stressed out, having so much religious guilt, talking to hijabis, talking to other Muslim women, and they told me the same thing, you know? It's all about your journey with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and your journey alone. I was talking to this woman from the masjid and she was telling me about how a lot of reverts put it on because they have like this religious momentum that they keep going 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 until later on like they find out it's not right for them at that time and they take it off so you want to make sure that when you're making this decision you're ready because it is not something to be taken lightly number two find muslim friends and find diverse muslim friends if you're a revert you may not be arab like me and for me one of the biggest things was finding friends who were like me ethnically um that i could relate to women who wore the hijab women who didn't because these are all different perspectives and being surrounded by a group of wonderful muslim women really helps you build your faith. It helps you see what are other people doing and how can I learn from that? How can I grow from that? Number three, don't stress too much about your Arabic right away, okay? It's all about intention. Don't let not knowing Arabic stop you from reading the Quran, praying, things like that. You can always get lessons later on and what's most important is that you're trying. Uh, there's a lot of great transliterations from Arabic to English, so while you can't read the Arabic characters, the letters, you can try it in English. Oh, also, <laughs> I listen to the Quran on Spotify and they have both Arabic and English versions, so I highly suggest.